Hello and welcome. I'm Jersey Me93, and this is the advanced passing video. If you guys missed part one, don't worry, I'll link that in the comment section. But today we're gonna to talk about how we can make the perfect pass every time. So please hit that like button as well as comment so that we can continue to get more sim content like this out for you guys. All right, so the first pass we're gonna be talking about is the bounce pass, which is what you're seeing on your screen right now. But let's first examine what happens when we don't use the bounce pass in a scenario where we should use the bounce pass. All right, so even though that we score on this possession, the issue is the fact that when you use X or you rely on X or A on Xbox, you're not gonna be able to fit the basketball in these super tight windows to deliver it to the roll man. So let's look at what the bounce pass does in the same scenario with the pick and roll. So as you saw, in comparison to using just the X button, when we use a bounce pass by pressing circle on the PlayStation or B on Xbox, that's gonna allow us to basically fit the basketball in a small pocket. And in that pocket, we're gonna be able to hit our roll man and he's gonna be able to get a dunk or a layup. And here's another example of that. The reason why the bounce pass works so well is because you're setting the basketball super low underneath the hedge man and they're not going to be able to one jump out and be able to either do a soft or hard hedge and then be able to recover back to the roll man in time so you use the bounce pass to be able to fit in between that time you could also use it in those again super tight windows super dope pass by john stockton right there for the pick and fade as well but we do have one scenario where we could use just the X button and why it's better. So right here for pick and fades for the three point line with a set shooter. And that's gonna unlock a whip pass. The reason why you wanna use that in this scenario specifically is because the bounce pass animations will be too long and that the defense will be able to recover. So you need to use the whip pass for that specific pick and roll scenario. All right, so let's move on to icon passing lead pass. It's gonna be a little bit more in depth or things that I didn't include in the first part. And if you guys missed the first part to the passing series, I'll link that in the comment section below along with my other guides and tutorials. So as you see right here, you can lead pass a receiver away from a screen to open up a different type of shot for him. So as his defender's going under, he's stopping at the three point line and able to get a easy three. Now that's just one way you could use the icon or lead pass and you can also use the lead pass to make a big man catch the basketball facing up as you see right here with cat all you have to do is press the buttons that you see on the screen and that should allow you to catch the basketball with the face up so here's a perfect example of why you want to have your icons up at all times especially when you're running plays so let's look at how we get two different shots from the same play just because we have our icons up and we're reading the floor so that's a three point shot, you know, some light. Now let's go on to the next example here. Now there's two opportunities that isn't attached to the play art that we could score from. And again, if you're being too faithful to the play art, you're gonna miss a lot of those opportunities. Another great way we could start using the icon more often and in the right scenarios is actually in transition. We wanna pull up the icon passing system by the half court line and that's gonna allow us to find those spot up shooters. So I know this is something that a lot of people don't talk about, but actually right stick passing is pretty dope. If you guys tap R1 and then flip the right stick in any direction, 2K will determine who you're trying to pass the basketball to. It's not as randomized if you go into your controller uh, settings that you're seeing right here and you adjust your passing profile, but the right stick passing should definitely be used when you're dribbling and you're trying to get into the lane really quickly and you're trying to deliver the basketball. Think of like Jason Williams, how he can go from just dribbling to a really quick pass in a matter of seconds. That's how you should use the right stick passing. Another scenario you wanna use the icon passing is in double teams or mismatches in your favor. So as you see right here, when we get Luca in the post against Dame, we already know the double team is coming, so our icons are gonna be up to read where the double team is gonna come from and to make the defense pack. But what do we do if we're stuck in a double team or the double team's timing was a little bit better and we're now facing two defenders and we're trying to deliver the basketball out? Well, we actually have an option in NBA 2K. That is the cross court pass. And the cross court pass is simply done by holding down the X button. What that is going to do is that's going to make 2K deliver the basketball to your furthest teammate. So the furthest teammate is usually going to be the person that the double team is coming from. All right, let's move on to the next pass. So what do you do if you're ever in a scenario where you have a taller teammate mismatch with a smaller defender and you don't want that to happen? What you just saw is something that is very familiar to a lot of you guys out there. And you're wondering why 2K? Why me? Why do you choose to hate me? Well, you just should have used a different pass. And that pass is the overhead pass. 
the overhead pass should be used in only two situations two situations only you hear me only two situations that is the post entry as you saw with cat and when we have a smaller player on a taller defender so this is going to allow us to float the basketball live it to a spot and to a height that only a taller teammate can receive the basketball so this is something that if you guys ever wanted to live the basketball but you didn't want to pull off an alley-oop or something like that you want to use this all you have to do is tap triangle or y on xbox trying to use the overhead pass in any other scenario you're going to get the ball stolen don't do it i'm don't 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 do it don't like yo jersey i figured no don't do it don't do it i'm trying to tell you don't do it all right all right all right all right now we're going to be moving on to specialty passes these are going to be your jump passes your flashy passes your that's that's really it so we're going to really show you how we can utilize the flashy passes in a strategic way so as you see right here with steph curry we're going to be using the flashy pass in pick and roll scenarios where we can't really use a basic pass because that will take too long we will trigger some behind the back passes in the pick and roll which will deliver the basketball a lot faster actually another way or another specialty pass we could actually use is the jump pass by pressing square and x at the same time we're going to be able to jump over the defense and deliver a pass that is going to be pretty quick so this is something that magic johnson did a lot shout out to eat money he actually put me onto this but this is something that is very realistic to a lot of your favorite players out there who like to deliver the basketball in the air or if you're a shorter player and you need a little bit more height to deliver the basketball so the best way to utilize flashy passes is to catch the defense while they're trying to rotate you obviously have to beat the defender that's going to help a lot but make sure that you're attacking the defense hard and getting them to rotate towards you and right before they're able to cut you off you want to trigger your flashy pass and you're going to deliver a really nice pass to an open teammate i'm jersey me 93 before y'all leave check out these videos it's going to help y'all i know i watch the analytics y'all be leaving around this part so that's why i ain't going to tell y'all that the video is over now i'm gonna tell y'all the video over peace